We are drawing our attention to IPL first. And yes, there were runs piled on last night. Records broken. Sixes reigned on the Chinnaswamy Stadium. And century was scored. Cameos with the bat broke the bowlers' backs. But I'm not speaking about the home side. Visitors Hyderabad reigned supreme last night. But we aren't talking about them either. No Travis Head or Henry Klaassen here. Also, I won't be too harsh. Bengaluru did come close, 25 runs short of 287, a mammoth target. And all because of one man. No, not Virat Kohli, not Faf Duplessis, though he chipped in. Not Glenn Maxwell either, he was warming the bench. But Dinesh Karthik, someone whose main profession is commentary. And cricket happens to be what he does when he isn't commentating on the sport. He fired in a blistering 83 of 35 balls to get his team close. And not lose face, but sorry DK. And I apologize to the RCB diehard fans out there. This isn't going to be about his knock either. We have to talk about what is ailing the Bengaluru franchise. They have gone seasons and years with some of the legends of the game in their ranks and yet not winning the title. A side that has the biggest Indian superstar in cricket, Virat Kohli, doesn't have an IPL title to its name. They came close just thrice, 2009, 2011 and 2016. It's quite the story of this franchise. They have a very, very massive fan base, especially for a side that has never won. They are most followed on Instagram and have over 30 million followers across platforms, including X, Facebook and YouTube. They are third on the list of teams with most fans. You know who sits above them. Two franchises who've won the most number of titles just between them. For a team that always disappoints, the craze, the perseverance and the loyalty is astounding. Dinesh Karthik recently on a casual chat with fellow Indian cricketer R. Ashwin on his channel spoke about the crazy RCB fan who's almost like family. RCB fans are loyalists. They're actually family. And I say that in good and bad ways. The good way is that when you go, no matter what happens, if I walk in, they will cheer my name and make me feel like I'm the greatest player on earth. On a personal level, that same fan will abuse me silently in DMs every day. He will go hard at me if I don't do well for RCB. He will smash me. Not just me, my family and whoever is possible in my life. But to the outside world, they will not give up an RCB player. Well, that's some commitment. There's something about an RCB fan. It's true, their social media platforms are always buzzing. Even in losses, they're absolutely unique, an asset for any side. A lot of them coming in for Virat Kohli, who's become sort of the adopted son of Bengaluru, much like what MSD is to Chennai. We often speak of the football fan, the real crazies who take passion for their club to another level. And they might have found their match in an RCB fan. However, is the true RCB fan also on the verge of giving up? Here are some memes and tweets that have exploded the internet since the game last night. There's anger, there's hurt, there's also some dark humour in there. Everyone is wondering what is going wrong in the franchise. And in the middle of all this, Glenn Maxwell has come out saying that he wants a break, that he's not able to keep up with the physical and mental toll that the league is taking on him. He's requested for a break from the RCB management to focus on himself. And it's understandable, the rigours are very trying after a certain point and the losses all add up too. But let's talk about what is wrong with the side here. For starters, they're bowling. It has always been a worrying aspect of their lineup time and again. To go back, it's the set squad selection as well. They splurged so much money on the likes of Cameron Green, Alzari Joseph, Mohammad Siraj as well, all on the bench last night. So there is no clear plan by the looks of it. And the biggest irony here, a team that has such a die-hard fan base, a franchise where fans will only come in but hardly leave is famous for discarding and letting go of quality players who've gone on to do wonders for other franchises. Some even in title-winning campaigns, like Shivam Dubey. 
With, he was with RCB earlier. He then left and moved to Chennai. Now, and you can see how he's transformed as a batter. He was Vendra Chahal, was let go, and is now playing for Rajasthan, is the purple cap holder. Let me go some years back to Australian Shane Watson. Went on to open for Chennai after he left RCB and was persisted with despite his failures and what a memorable couple of seasons he enjoyed with the Chennai franchise. Or maybe it's that phrase they use, Isala Cup Namde, which translates to this year, the trophy is ours and that just never works. But in all seriousness, franchise is not about the money and the name and the big faces. All that, of course, help. But that alone cannot make it succeed in the long run. What does it stand for? How do they create and build a legacy? If not of winning, but of change, of loyalty, of instilling faith and grooming the next set of superstars. A franchise is not just about the now, it is of the now and having the foresight of the years to come. There seems to be something amiss at RCB, despite giving the belief that this year they will turn it around, along with the fervour of the loyal fan, whose patience and limits is this bunch is continually testing the script of flattering only to deceive also doesn't seem to change.